Hey, this is Marcus from Northland, and you're watching Rob Clam. Now it's turning into a sunny day, so at least it's not raining now. Yeah, good. I'm really excited to, to play a bit later on and see a few other bands. Man. A few bands I've been wanting to see for a little while, and um, it'll be cool. Uh, this is, I guess, the last kind of show in the big kind of Euro European uh, run of our stuff. We've got like three shows left, I guess, or three or four at the end of the month. Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Um, the Holy Paracon Festival at Never Say Die was uh, so crazy. And um, but then going into the smaller venues and all the smaller clubs that we've done on the headliners were just as mental. I don't know. And it seems like every time we come back to Europe, it's um, yeah, just gotten better and better. And, see uh, a lot more familiar faces coming to shows and yeah it's really cool to see we like we really love coming this way <laughs> the first half it was uh, yeah a lot of like club shows I guess yeah I don't know they've all been so cool they, I, they've both got very different atmospheres um, I think I, I prefer, prefer the club shows to be honest because it's so personal and um, whatnot but yeah obviously the festival shows are so big and crazy and yeah very cool so. I guess it's just, yeah, you kind of see a lot more familiar faces, but then also a lot more new faces coming along as, um, I guess, people have come and seen us and word spread that we're not too bad, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people are a lot more supportive the more we come. I think, yeah, that's what we just see in Europe generally, that if you kind of put the effort in and keep coming back and showing that you love coming to play for them, then they'll kind of... Uh, reciprocate, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's... I don't know, it, just playing music always kind of makes me happy. I don't know, it's when, when I'm on stage, that's kind of when I'm me, I guess. I'm pretty awkward and weird and, um, yeah, I don't know, strange when I'm not playing music. Um, yeah, like coming here and people singing along to our songs and whatnot really, you know, means a lot to me so I don't know I just get lost in it, it all when I'm playing really. <laughs> well I guess just to be passionate about what you do you know it's important that you really you're doing you're playing music for the right reasons but also I guess trying to make something different something uh, new but also something that like um, when, when you're passionate about something people are really going to see that so it's important that you're playing music that you, you know, are really passionate about and that you, love doing so it's important to do that and also to you know just work hard and, uh, but I guess if you love music you will work hard so it kind of works out that way <laughs>
verse that I'm sure a lot of people miss when his vocals over it. I don't know, but I don't know. It's always cool to listen to just the music of it, and sometimes just get lost in the atmosphere of what's going on. Because you know there are a lot of cool parts that like are just chill, ambient things. You know, especially on you know Singularity and stuff. There's a lot of cool things that are just. I don't know, but I don't know. It's, I, I don't know if it's, it's hard for me to say. I guess in terms of that, because that was before my time. But yeah, I don't. Know. I think people like listening to it for vibes. <laughs> well, I guess that was just uh, well, in Hearts Wake and North. I've been friends for a very long time. We just came up over a tour we did in like North America last year. We were just having a barbecue together one night. <laughs> And you know, we just thought that it was you know the right time for us to be both doing it. You know, we're both at a similar level of, in, in our careers, and yeah, no, it just felt right. And it was it was a real fun kind of experience to do the the uh, split with them because it's it's weird to kind of be making music with a group of people that's also kind of a part of your band, but you can also have a lot more freedom to mess around with maybe in Hearts Wake style that you wouldn't necessarily have done if it was just a North Lane thing or if it was a part of a whole album. I don't know, but it was just a lot of fun messing around with different things, I guess, and also uh, creating something with people that you would usually work with and seeing how they create music. I don't know. <laughs> we head home uh, at the end of the month or early early next month and yeah, then we do the Equinox tour for a couple of weeks back home. But then we're also spending a lot of time just uh, working on new music. We were trying to get something out uh, pretty soon, I guess. We we'll to hopefully get something out within like end of the year or early next year, something hopefully. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Spain very soon. It was such an awesome time seeing your country. It was, yeah, I don't know, it was, it was very crazy going to a place like that. We never really, I'd never really seen anything like it. But the people were so passionate about music. So, yeah, hopefully we can get back soon. I'm sure we'll be back hopefully before the end of the year. We do have plans to do something soon. So, hopefully we'll see you all soon. <laughs>